The work begins. It's a new coach, the second in two years. Tonight, though, is bringing a glimmer of hope to the major turnaround needed at the Louisville basketball program. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Prophet, and thank you for joining us. Pat Kelsey today spent his time in front of the Cardinal faithful today, honoring fired coach Kitty Payne and praising coaches Rick Patino and Denny Crum. We have team coverage of the hiring of the Cincinnati native, including his new contract. WHS 11's Connor Stephan is live at the KFC Yum Center, talking to those close to the program. Will they be back in the stands. But first, we begin with Sports Director Ken Spencer. We'll cover the announcement at the Practice Center. Kent? Yeah, Doug, Pat Kelsey has won at every stop he's been at, but he's never had the opportunity to do it as a head coach on a stage like Louisville's. This afternoon, he stepped on that stage, and it's pretty clear he's going to attack the task at hand with enthusiasm. It's an honor to introduce you as the head coach of the Louisville men's basketball program. And with that, Pat Kelsey is officially the head basketball coach at Louisville. The Cards were looking for someone who would crawl to this job. Kelsey came close. I expressed to Josh that I would, I'd run there. It's, one, it's the best job in the United States of America. I'd run there. He knew how bad I wanted it. It's a day that ends a process that took a little more than two weeks to complete. How did you deal with the pressure of this hire? Look, the pressure didn't change from the time the announcement for Kenny was made. And this is a big deal. And I wanted to try to do everything we could, I could, to get it right. Kelsey clearly wasn't the first choice, but he was always in the hunt. I know we ended up with the right guy here. And uh, I have the utmost confidence in this guy. I mean, I'm so excited. Uh, you know, it's. I was really there two nights, three nights ago. I can't, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, but I told Pat, I said, hey, I, and I'm almost certainly going to offer you the job, but I want to sleep on it. Um, and my, not trying to get your hopes up, but, you know, just feel really comfortable. And woke up the next morning and felt even better. I was ready when my name's called. Competitive excellence. I think I've been preparing for that interview my entire life. This is the ultimate job. This is the peak and pinnacle of my profession. A proud day for the entire Kelsey family. A lifetime dream, probably for me. Uh, it's big time. Uh, it's not not where we were, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's Pat's destiny. But from a father's standpoint, you know, couldn't be prouder. A family from Cincinnati. It's my cousin. Pat. What about that? <laughs> who's now just 100 miles away from Pat and his family. I could scream hallelujah at the top of my voice, and I hope that would explain it. Kelsey talked about rebuilding the culture of this program, so rich in tradition, and connecting with the players from its past. This is your program. This is your program. You don't ever have to call. You never have to ask. You want to come to practice, you just show up. This is your program. You built this. You put banners up in the rafters. I'm lucky to be the steward right now and lead this thing into the next era, but this is your program. I'm not going to name all of them, but I'm going to name one, Kenny Payne. Kenny Payne. Singling out the coach who had just been fired. Obviously didn't work out the way we wanted it, but he is a major, major, major part of Card Nation, and he is welcome back here like everybody else, and we're really proud of who he is and that he's a Cardinal. The Pat Kelsey era of Louisville basketball is certainly off to an energetic start. So blessed to be the head coach here. L's up. Go Cards. Now Josh Hurd knows the Kelsey hire to the Louisville fan base may not have been universally received. In fact, he told him nobody's throwing for them a parade today. The focus is at eight months when it's time to win basketball games. I want to read directly the quote the president, Dr. Kim Schatzel, said. I thought it was very telling when she said, I am confident, I am so confident that we got this right. That little sentence, though, saying a lot, it takes in a lot of the history we've just been through the last two years. They were looking for the right coach. They were looking for the right fit. They were looking for somebody to be able to connect with the fan base, to bring the fan base back and they're looking for a coach to be able to win games. They feel like they have found that in Pat Kelsey. All right, thank you very much, Kent. Well, Kat, Pat Kelsey has signed a five-year deal with the Cardinals, worth $2.3 per year. Now, that is $1 million less, 
more than $1 million less than what Kenny Payne was making in his deal. Kelsey's contract also includes several bonuses like $50,000 for an ACC championship win or an NCAA tournament appearance. UofL is still paying out big money. The school must pay the College of Charleston $1.1 million for Kelsey's buyout through the year 2028. It's one of the few buyouts that they're still managing at the moment. The former coach Chris Mack's buyout with the university was $4.8 million. He is still being paid $133,000 a month until 2025. That is for Chris Mack. Now, Kenny Payne's buyout could still be upwards of $8 million. That's what's listed in his contract. We haven't heard officially, though, if they have settled with Kenny Payne for a lower amount. We have asked the university for those figures.